A healthy relationship is free of illnesses and imbalances that cause disease or dysfunction over time. A healthy relationship is basically the opposite of a trauma bond. The people in your life are your life. If the people in your life are free, happy, open, abundant, then your life is free, happy, loving, and abundant. If the people in your life are scared, anxious, narrow-minded, fearful, then your life is also fearful, closed off, and so forth. Research shows that long-term relationships, social connections, and human safety nets are critical for mental and physical health. And people who have healthy relationships are more likely to engage in healthy behaviors, which lead to better health outcomes and increased longevity. <laughs> A healthy relationship is one that is free of codependency, people pleasing, overextending beyond your means, blaming and shaming, trust issues, testing each other for evidence, constantly assuming or guessing what the other person is thinking, lies, dishonesty, manipulation, power games, control over the other person, hostaging, guilt trips, violence, and harm. This is what a healthy relationship should have. A healthy relationship is one that is interdependent. First things first, you have your own lives. It's safe, respectful, and trusting. It's intentional and meaningful. It's equal, collaborative, and fair. Easy, natural, not forced. Open, honest, transparent, caring, compassionate, kind, clear on boundaries and expectations, supportive, and last but not least, growth-oriented. <laughs> The very, very first lesson you learn when you come into my ecosystem is that you are not just a physical body, but you are a five-layered multi-dimensional body. I wrote a book on it. It's called So Empowered. You can find it on Amazon. And the reason why a lot of times we are so burned out and why we're so lost and why we can't seem to make the progress that we want in our lives is because we're not looking at ourselves holistically. We're not looking at ourselves as a energetic body, an emotional body, a mental body, a spiritual body, and so forth. And so I decided to take that and apply that to a relationship as well. I'm going to break down what it actually looks like to be in a healthy, not just self, but also looking at that within the lens of a relationship as well. So let's go ahead and start with the first layer. Let's talk about the physical body or physical health. And rather than telling you like what it actually looks like to be in a physical healthy relationship, I'm going to give you a lot of prompts and a lot of questions to think about so that you can now apply this to your current relationship, to future relationships, to previous relationships and so forth. Is this relationship physically safe? Does it support or diminish your physical health? Does your physical health and fitness improve as a result of this relationship or does it decline? Do you get sick often since you've been in this relationship? Does this relationship align with the lifestyle you want in order to maintain your physical health? So for example, I've been in relationships where my lifestyle now diminishes. All of a sudden I start dating this person and I'm like, oh wow, I stopped working out on the weekends. All I do is party now or I stopped doing this or I used to eat healthy, but now I'm like ordering pizza all the time or whatever. So these are all things to think about. At the physical layer, let's talk about your energetic health. Do you feel energized or drained after spending time with this person? Does this relationship give or take energy? Is it equal? Does this relationship require a lot of energy? What kind of energy does this relationship require? Is it sustainable to maintain this relationship? Do you feel calm, grounded, and easy? in the relationship? Do you feel nervous, anxious, or easily irritable? The latter drains your energy. The former gives you energy. Let's talk about mental and emotional health. Does this relationship provide psychological safety? Do you feel safe in this relationship? Are you honest about your thoughts and feelings? Do you hold space for each other during hard times? Do you vent and dump to each other? If your partner is just venting and dumping, that is not an emotionally and mentally healthy place for you. You have to have agreements. Both parties have to be willing to say like, yes, I'm willing to hold space for you and I'm willing to hear you and acknowledge that you're struggling. And at the same time, can we get to the other side. That is the difference between just 
kind of venting and dumping, which we want to watch out for that. Let's talk about spiritual health. This is really important. Does the relationship lead with optimism and openness to possibilities? Do hard times tear you apart or bring you closer together? Do you believe that you are supposed to be in each other's lives, even if it's not forever? Are you both growing in this relationship? Does the relationship help you feel more connected to yourself? A healthy, spiritually healthy relationship would actually help you feel more connected to yourself versus disconnected, okay? It should help you feel more in awe with yourself, your life, your journey. You see how everything is connected. You see the purpose. You see the grand picture. You see the big picture, right? That's spiritual health.